I'm going to use the famous arrow here from Indian Wells Country Club to help you understand the process of aiming a little bit better. You know, this arrow came from a fixed point. It came in at a certain trajectory, and it also hit a certain target. And for that to happen, you have to have not only good aim, but you have to have visualization as well. Remember I said shooting an arrow requires visualization and good aim. So the visualization part is really pretty easy. We're going to take care of that before we hit our shot. We're going to come back here and see our target, which is going to be the tip of that arrow. And we're going to visualize the fly of that ball going to our target. Now, I've used two lines here. This is the target line. That goes from the ball to the tip of the arrow, which is my target. This line here is my stance line. We have a railroad track. These two lines never meet. So if this line is going to the target, this line here is going to be a little bit left of it, and that's what you need to feel. Another little tip, never come into the golf ball with your left foot first. It tends to close you off to the target too much. Always come into the ball with the right foot first, perpendicular to your target line. You can set your club down now behind the ball. Now you can bring your left foot up, take your stance, give it a look, let the ball fly. Now, when you get to the practice tee, obviously you have to get used to this. You remove that stick right there. We're going to always leave this here so when you're on the practice tee, always have an enforcer on the ground. Otherwise, you'll slip back into bad habits. So work on this on the practice tee, and it will make you a better aimer on the golf course.